level crossing affect your life? Um, a lot. Like, I've only actually just recently started my job here. Yesterday I was poorly parked on the other side for about 20, 25 minutes and, like, waiting for this to, you know, the rails to go up and everything. And today it's still, like, I've been here for another, like, 15, 20 minutes waiting for trains to go past. So it really does impact your day? Yeah. It puts an extra 20 minutes, half an, like, half an hour onto my drive home. So very frustrating? Very frustrating. I've been in the area for a long time. It's getting worse. It's very hectic here in peak hour. You could be waiting for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, even longer sometimes, to get through. So does that impact your day? Yes, it does. An absolute catastrophe. I think we've had five trains now, and I think there's going to be six at least. And sometimes you wait for 20, 30 minutes. So this really impacts you every day? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think it's really a terrible situation. Does it affect you personally? Just the pain in the bum. Just having to wait for, you know, sometimes 10, 15 minutes. Well, I do unfortunately come from the other side, so I no longer try and get across the lights. Um, I always park further down that way and walk, because otherwise you just can't get, you know, you can spend, I think I spent nine minutes one time waiting for the train line to come up. So at least if I'm walking, I can go over under the underpass and keep coming. Uh, it frustrates me because when I have to take my daughter from our house, which is on this side, to her grandparents' house on the other side. We can be standing here for about 15 minutes until the trains come, and it's just really frustrating. To It'd be great if they could put it a tunnel through or something like that, fantastic, or do something different with the intersection. But yeah, it's very dangerous, and once in a while we just see some trouble. So you, do you feel a little unsafe? Oh, I feel unsafe when I go through it. On, on many occasions, it's always, uh, besides this one and another one, um, down on Springvale Road, we find it very much difficult as bike riders. Uh, it's not fantastic. My brother just lives down the road, and if you're in a hurry, especially in peak hour, trying to get across the train line, uh, it's kind of annoying as a, as a motorist and as a cyclist. It's, uh, people act very unpredictably when they're stuck there for you know, 20 minutes at a time, so as a cyclist it can get a bit hairy, which is uh, not that exciting.